Well, this is a follow-up to um, <clears throat> part two. Well, come to find out about this girl that I got the number from. Come to find out that the guys that uh, let me hang around the liquor store. Come to find out that this woman likes to, um, and the girl I basically got the number from. Obviously, this woman likes to ride the cock carousel, so... I think that um, the reason that this woman was cutting into me, she probably thought that maybe I was the sucker or whatever. You know, and it's really sad to the degree that in this sick-ass North American society, that it's gotten to the point where most of these women are just flat out, just flat out dead. Just mentally dead. She's gotten to the point where they're so caught up in their whoredom. It's just pathetic. You know what I mean? It's just really pathetic and it's really sad to really see this. And, and like I said, you know, I knew that, you know, I didn't put expectations with this woman. And luckily, you know, with this woman, I did not... Um, Rushed the number by the way, but luckily for me, I, I deleted it like I did. So, you know, for all you men out there, I mean, if, if you're going to sit there and, and, and try to engage with these women or date them or something like that, maybe you ought to think twice. Because a lot of these women out here are basically being disingenuous and dishonest with themselves. And it's really sad to the degree that, you know, they don't think logically. That's just really sad. I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You know, it's really sad. You know? <clears throat> I'm glad that uh, those Chaldeans had the 411 on this female. Because let's face it, I mean, when you work at a liquor store, you know what kind of people that come in there. Even though that some of the people in there in the liquor store are just a bunch of scumbags. So, for all you decent men out there, uh, keep listening to videos like Tito the Fresh, um, GW3, and all the other popular YouTubers that are trying to wake you, trying to wake you up. Because let's face it, this North American woman, she's and this North American black woman, she's gonna be desperate. She's going to be desperate to look, to really search for simps. And like I said, I'm, I'm just to the point where, you know, hey, you either want to treat yourself female. You need to treat yourself or you're going to play yourself either way. So this is a, basically a part two. I'm actually, I kind of found out the info about this female before I, before I, I engaged in anything because like I said I don't regret getting a number maybe I played as far as calling her 40 minutes later but I just knew something didn't add up with this female obviously she claimed that uh she was in a relationship with this dude and, and she acted like she was in she was really sincere but in reality I mean from what I'm hearing what the Chaldean was saying they said that this woman was hooking up with, with other men. So, you know, men, 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 men can see the bullshit from a mile away. So, like I said, for you guys out there, just be careful. And it's time, and especially you black men, to wake up and smell the coffee. Because the majority of these North American women... They enjoy emasculating you. They will get every chance to emasculate you. Even if you decide to leave the country. They will try everything in a book. And that's why the majority of these black women are desperate. If they're talking about, you know, wanting to hook up with a white man, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. But that's just her way of being desperate. 
That's just her way of saying that she has the right to reject you. And I will say this, that there are some black men out there that are starting to wake up. But the rest of you black men, the rest of y'all are doomed. The rest of y'all are dumb as hell. And y'all need to wake up for real. This is Carl Mitchell signing out.